Hi again, beloved seekers of the truth. Today I wish to speak about how to meet and actually heal our emotions or, for instance, rejection, not being wanted or being loved as we are. So it is something that actually happened to me a few days ago and so the feeling is still very uh, alive in me and I can guide you through what, is, uh, what it is that I have done to just really completely release it. So imagine you are feeling triggered by somebody around you who has maybe said something to you or didn't ignore you or didn't um, uh, respond to you, therefore ignored you in, in your way, in your view. And um, it feels like, um, you know, oh, I'm not interested, you know, nobody really wants me. What does that matter if, if I say something or not? You know, if I wasn't there, it wouldn't even make a difference. People just don't like me as I am. You know, what's the point in being here? And we often, of course, like to give the blame to the other person who has caused that trigger in us to be activated. And this is the important thing to remember every time. When we are feeling this very painful emotion of rejection, we have to remember it is a feeling within us. Nobody can make us feel a certain way. The feelings are caused by certain beliefs or thoughts or ideas within us. They are caused by our unconscious perception. And we have to own our feelings. They are within us. Nobody can give them to us. It is our choice. It is our unconscious programming that is making us feel certain feelings. And by learning, to become the master of those emotions, of those unconscious programming, we are helping ourselves to empowerment. We are helping ourselves to clear out in the unknown, in the unconscious levels, um, all and every emotion that is holding us back, stopping us from really shining our light. So now imagine, that your button has, pre has been pressed and you are feeling this raw, painful emotion of rejection. Oh, I'm not wanted. Nobody loves me. What's the point? And um, now, first of all, become aware. Where is it in your body? It probably is around the solar plexus area or maybe in your heart area. And or wherever else is, it is for you. Just become aware of it and acknowledge it and allow it to be there. That, by just doing that, you're already stepping back from being identified with a feeling and you are now in a position of actually observing it rather than being right in it. And now, while you're observing this, noticing where it is coming from, you're giving it space to actually be there. Just feel that feeling. And let it be even as big as it likes to be. Give it all the space it needs to express itself. What's behind that feeling is a part of us. It is a, a little, little me, some inner child part that hasn't had the opportunity to be heard uh, to be, or to express itself. It hasn't been accepted, acknowledged, nor loved. And therefore, it has been coming back to you, showing you again and again, hey, I'm not loved here, I'm not loved, I need your love, I need to be acknowledged. I, this, is, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm here, please acknowledge me. This is why it's always coming up. So now that you're feeling it again, you're having the chance to completely and utterly allow it to be there, with all your heart. No resistance towards it. Just open your arms and receive it like your own little baby, like your own child. And while you're feeling this, these feelings, just imagine those sort of arms coming out of your heart, connecting with your heart first and, and then allowing the arms to embrace the inner child, the little me that feels so hurt. Calling in your soul if you need to activate the love within you, the, the, the love that's within your heart. 
call on your soul and use your visualization to just allow it to come down your crown chakra into your head, moving down the chakra columns and moving down all the way down to your legs into Mother Earth. And then some energy will come up again and the energy that's pouring down and coming up meet those energies meet in the heart and from there see those light energies i see it as golden or white light whatever color comes to you is fine and just see that light expanding and use that light to embrace your inner child see and really feel how that light of your soul is enmantling and embracing and completely bathing this feeling in its light. And it just takes usually not even half a minute. It takes perhaps a minute for you. Maybe it takes longer. The first time it might take longer when you do this for the first time. And in my experience, it just you just feel something happening and then the emotion isn't there anymore. Then there's peace and calm. And you might feel and look inside you and look around inside and wonder, where is it gone? And it's just been reintegrated into your heart. All it needed was your love. Uh, I would love to hear how you get on with this exercise and if you like to ask me any more questions about it or if you need it maybe put to you in a different way I will try and do that. Let me know whatever you need and I'll be very happy to help you. Until next time, bye bye.